all right, YouTube family, let's just go ahead and, and, and do the news and, and cover this. I've been trying to get away from this particular story because I couldn't substantiate it. Only reason I'm talking about it because in the Instagram world and Twitter space, people are bringing it up, but it's not news. They're saying he got out. If you don't know what I'm talking about, we're talking about the alleged killer Lil Cam. They're saying that his mom's saying and claiming that he turned himself in. Before we get started with this case over here, man, I'm giving credit to other bloggers as well who started this story here. And since we are giving updates, this what the streets is saying don't mean it's a factual situation. Now, what I want y'all to do, though, is factual for us is hit that like button hit that notification bell thank you for rocking out with the i smoke hip-hop live platform i am your guy dj bless one love your family love your kids stay blessed show some love to pesh mayweather one time salute to the kings and the queens go follow him on his youtube and his instagram as well man i want to salute the i smoke hip-hop nation salute the all of y'all now what I do is give you updates almost all the time. I've been slow a little bit because I'm working on something for this situation. And I also want to give you actual updates. Only reason I'm giving this update because it got legs now. You feel me? Behind the scenes, folks is saying X, Y, and Z. So you got to at least talk about it. But you got to be fair. Now, little Cam mom, they're saying, and I don't know if this lady is her or not, but they were claiming it is his mom. Blessings to the queen. But she's saying to the world, I guess it was on a Reddit video that was deleted. Everybody was saying it was like somebody claiming to be his kin, folks. That's why everybody is saying that this was the fact, the truth. I'm just getting a lot of DMs and a lot of people. I was like, nah, this information is false. But they're arguing with me. And it's a lot of folks from Houston. We definitely will bring this up. At least talk about it. Now, she's saying for everybody to come at her son the way they come in at they need to mind their own business. He's innocent. If it's your child, would you stand back to it? Now, when we look at it, we got to at least break things on this video, even if little Cam didn't turn himself or not. And this is speaking to his mom's dukes or his kin folks. Now, little Cam is in a situation where on this platform, we never called him the alleged killer. But we said, ma'am, that he got himself in a situation where he can't get out of it by just trying to claim innocence now after playing games that you played what games i'm talking about besides him actually being in a gambling situation with the dice game besides quavo staring at your son the whole time on videos and proof showing some type of animosity going in there besides j prince jr unfollowing your son Besides J Prince himself making that situation, talking about shooters who's closing their eyes closed, you can't stand behind me. Your son didn't do himself any service, man, by putting on all these old IG posts. You know what I mean? Just even after Takeoff lost his life, your son continued to uh, annoy people and talk that ish, knowing it's a time where you should have at least waited till the dude's at least buried. He didn't even wait till takeoff got buried. He just ran with the back and forths of proving he's big dog. We know his dad was a, a certified real one. You know what I mean? We know the dad legacy is, is stamped it out here in the Fifth Ward area in the Houston streets. But for little Cam to be out here doing the most with his postings, with his shenanigans, whatever y'all want to call it, that didn't do him no service. It didn't do him no justice. It hurt the situation, honestly. Now, when you got people like J. Prince Jr. being accused, and that's just because he passed the body, you feel me? What you think they're going to say to Little Cam when he's seen on video? You know what I mean? Running away from a situation. Like, let, let's not forget that part. Can we just be a little bit more honest? Let's not forget that part at all. He was seen on video at least next to it. And when everybody was putting blame and saying his name, I feel like he should stay quiet, but not to the point where you don't at least come out and say you're innocent instead of him doing that. Like, if you're not going to talk, don't talk at all. I would understand that. But when he spoke, he kind of like, you feel me? He, he trolled the whole situation. You trolled the family and friends of takeoff. So the backlash is going to be at you regardless if you pull the trigger or not. Like when we're looking at the argument in full details on the video, you can see the, the yellow shirt. Everybody tried to point it out was you, bro. Just being honest. 
And I'm gonna do a live video for y'all tomorrow. I'm just catching up on updates for y'all. We'll do a live video tomorrow, but you can see little Cam on the other side next to takeoff with the yellow jacket. I will be fair. I didn't see him pull no weapon and shot, but I we did see the slowdown video of TMZ showing him with the weapon. But remember, it's Texas. Everybody allowed to have a weapon. You feel me? That could be the case too. So we don't know, but it's how you behave afterwards. I hope his family and folks is understanding that. People gonna pay attention to how you act, man. And you going back and forth with whoever is trolling the internet or whatnot. Folks ain't gonna remember that part. They're gonna remember you saying the most. That's all they're gonna remember, bro. The grinning, the smiling. It's like disingenuous to do certain things. This, this is why no fly zones was placed in that whole situation. And we seen it was factual because ain't no mob ties was there at takeoff going um home going, you feel me? Away. None of them was there, bro. And it was folks all in Houston claiming that, bro, this man ain't gonna go to the funeral he can't it was houston folks that made it to it from partners they had in atl and then me talking to the streets of atl nah bro like that would be like something you pushing the you feel me back burner to even slide there it's like you now laughing at the family's face people looked at no accountability taken by the prince family then a lot of people felt you know what i mean that they were doing the most when uh, um you feel me prince put that uh situation all the way in Houston you know I'm, um, I don't know how to say it. let me just put the picture for y'all so y'all can see what I'm talking about when he did his own funeral he showed love by posting his own little thing but now people are looking at it as a diss it makes sense people are looking at Jay Prince as honestly doing uh, 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 uh I don't know how to properly say it without being rude. It's like he's mocking the funeral. It's like he did his own, but he's conceited because he's showing his own, you feel me, things on the pictures of the funeral in Houston they did. It's like he was doing the most and what I'm trying to come together and say. It's like you're supposed to be giving love, but you're not doing it in a way that uh, uh, Offset did it with this letter like this. This would have been more substantiated, but he did like a whole memorial where takeoff was killed and they wrote the prince family almost trying to get credit so it's not me coming at them saying i'm telling you what them people were saying man and you got to pay attention to what people are saying how they feeling about certain people being disingenuous you got to pay attention bro folks really saying certain people ain't invited in atlanta no more then we seen a situation with kodak black i'm gonna talk about that on a separate video how him and his securities allegedly got into it with other securities in houston so now it's, whole, it's a whole thing. People talking about Houston ain't right and all. I ain't going to be the one to say it because there's a lot of good people in all cities, all states across the world. You feel me? But it's just that it's a lot of folks with power who let a lot of BS go out the way. And it starts more drama. You feel me? Maybe it's the way we're raised growing up. I don't know, but it, it, it's a little too much. But the trolling that Lil Cam is doing, talking about he's turning himself in to his mom. You better look at these right here because your son done put himself in a lot of situations on his own. Look, man, I'm your guy, DJ Bless One. I would like to say salute to the I Smoke Hip Hop Nation. Salute to everybody out here rocking with us, man. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that notification bell. Thank you for rocking with the I Smoke Hip Hop Live movement. I am your guy, DJ Bless One. Salute to the kings and queens.